What's up guys? Okay, so breaking into today's episode, I'm going to start out with saying that the opening negotiations in the episode were absolutely brilliant. In the past, if you recall, Subaru didn't know how to negotiate or make deals because he was always in a panic which always ended up making his words seem very unbelievable. But today he demonstrated excellent practices, planning ahead, setting up and closing the negotiations. I was really impressed. I mean, I was super impressed with just that one scene. But let me comment on one particular scene that took place in that instance. If you guys recall, toward the end of the negotiations in the beginning of the episode, Subaru got up and stretched his hand out for a handshake. And in that brief moment, Karsten looked at him, and then it went straight to a small scene of Subaru swallowing. That scene displayed perfect tension and calmness at the same time. Imagine just how nervous and nerve-wracking that man was. I mean, he had tried to do negotiations with Karsten before, but they always fell out because he was always so nervous and so tense. But that one scene, that one swallowing scene, regardless of how small it was, demonstrated all of that in just one instant. I was super impressed with just that one scene. I mean, it may seem very small to you guys, but that one particular part right there displayed perfect calmness and tension at the same time. Imagine the work he had to put into getting all of that planned out. I would have loved to see that in the episode before it actually broke into the negotiations, if you know what I mean. But beautifully done, I love the growth that happened in that scene alone. Now breaking into the comedy that was in today's episode, granted there was not a lot, but there was this one scene, if you recall, where Subaru and Rim wake up the next morning and they have to choose their land dragon they want for the trip. And there was this one instance where Rim makes this comment. She goes, Don't worry, that's not true. I'll be sure to get along with it. And then there's that stare. Oh my god, the stare, guys. Now let me tell you what I call this stare. I call this stare the love rivalry stare because in a lot of anime, you see this same instance, but the stare goes between two love rivals. But in this case, it's between Rim and the dragon, and let me tell you, I fell out of my chair, guys. I mean, I didn't even have time to pause the episode. I fell out of my chair. I literally fell out of my chair during that one scene because it was just so adorable and cute and funny at the same time. I did not expect that to happen. Honestly guys, today's episode was the beginning of a new chapter, and I'm going to say this now, Subaru has no idea just how good he has it. To have the love of Ram, to have her complete and full support. When the soldiers had finally set up camp, when they reached their destination of the Great Tree, and they had finally set up camp, there's this scene where Subaru and Ram start talking underneath the tree, and then Rim slowly starts to walk away as she's describing why she has so much trust in Subaru. But then you see the scenes go in and out between Subaru and Rim as she starts walking back toward him. And in that instance, it's one of those scenes where Subaru's not really paying attention to his surroundings. And I'm not talking just Subaru here. I mean, you see this instance in a lot of anime series where the main character may be talking directly at the other character, but he's not really paying attention, he's looking around, or he's, you know, describing, and that's what Subaru was doing, he was describing how grateful he was, but he wasn't actually paying attention, and it's one of those scenes where you would anticipate something to happen, and in these cases, it's usually a surprise kiss by the female, I mean, we've seen it a lot happen, the main characters, you know, expressing his gratitude or something, and along comes a surprise kiss by the female heroine. It just happens that way. However, it did not happen that way in this scene, which is fine, maybe it will later, maybe it won't, but I just wanted to express my gratitude for that scene and the great anticipation that it caused me. But I cannot wait for next week's episode, nor the battle. I just can't wait for it, guys. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on today's episode, along with what you think is going to happen next week. I'm Kate of Deity. See you next time. 
Hey guys, what's up? K here of Otaku Deity, and I just wanted to ask that if you really enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks again, and I'll see you next episode.